Hello, fellow bookwesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookwester, and today I'm gonna talk about this awesome book, The Hunger Games, by Suzanne Collins. And let's get right on to it. There are three books in this series: Hunger, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, which I will review in turn after I have read them. Bye for now. And the main character, let's get right on to it, is Katniss. And I have to say, it is as bloody as my mom and my friends say, because arrows fly, blood is gushing on the ground, and I don't really think it should be under the people who are at least like 4th or 5th grade. Or even middle school, because if their mother, if you can't stand any blood. Plus, there's a... There's a bit of romance in it, that's fine, that's totally fine. But the problem is that, like, the main character is a girl. So if you're a boy, like, she changes and she looks at herself and stuff like that. So it's kind of uncomfortable for boys. So sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. You choose if you're a boy. But if you're a girl, you should be completely fine, as long as you're okay with blood. Now, let's get on to the story. Katniss. Katniss goes... It lived at District 12. In the ruins of a place once called North America lies the nation of Pan Am, a shining capital surrounded by 12 outlying districts. The capital is very harsh, apparently, as the blurb says, and that's what the Hunger Games are for. So, basically, two tributes from each 12 district has to go to the capital, Panam, to fight in the Hunger Games. In the Hunger Games, the peop the, the tributes have to fight on live TV. They have to fight to the death. Finding materials, weapons, and food that's lying around all around the arena. This time, there's woodlands, there's a lake, and well, let's see what Katniss does. Katniss is an exceptional hunter. She, she illegally hunts in the woods, that's poaching, but every single official in the town seems to buy her meat, which means that her hunting can just be not acknowledged officially, you know what I mean? And so, Katniss, she is excellent with her bow, and she is good enough with her knife. And that means that she's an excellent contender for the Hunger Games. In the impossible choosing, Katniss, Katniss's little sister, Prim, is chosen. And that sucks. I mean, Prim is as fragile as a rose. She can't go into the Hunger Games. She, she just can't. So, our dear Katniss, she does it. She goes into the Hunger Games instead of her sister. And in the Hunger Games, she goes with a boy named Pita, and apparently Pita had a little bit of a crush on her for a long, long time, since they were like five or six, and what the heck. And that's revealed as they play the game, the Hunger Games. Katniss somehow manages to find a bow and an arrow. And, and arrows, and a quiver, and... She and when a contender chases her, she managed to grab the knife that the contender had thrown to her. And one by one, Katniss's enemies die, and Katniss seems to be on the winning side. Could Katniss do the hard thing, do the right thing, and fight against the capital, yet win the Hunger Games, and become the true hero of the book? That's for you to read and for me to know. And great book, a must read, but not a must read if you're under the age of 4th grade, because I told you. And like always, your bookwester, Aaron the Bookwester.